everyone. Thank you for joining me. I have got quite a bit of fabric to show you. I'm loving some of the new fabrics that I have. Now I do have a very ambitious Christmas list to get through of things I want to sew, things that I'm definitely planning to make and fabrics that are not in this haul, maybe from previous hauls that I really want to get made up for Christmas. So that will be coming, I promise, in the next week as well. But for today, I want to get through a fabric haul that I know you're going to love. And I also have an episode after this one coming out that has a spotlight haul. So I'm going to separate them into two separate hauls. The spotlight haul has a lot of patterns that I've purchased as well. So if I do them all in one, in one video, it is going to be a mammoth. Uh, it's going to be a bit too long so I know a lot of you prefer to keep them under the 30 minutes so bear with me I'm going to get through these but I'm really excited to show you what I've bought in the last couple of months. Thank you to all the new subscribers I really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button but don't forget there is a little bell you need to turn your notifications on if you want to see my latest episodes as soon as they come out and that way you can keep on top of what I'm um, bringing out each week. I try and get them down to sort of two episodes a week. But in December, there is going to be an episode every day for the first 12 days for the new Vlogmas, which is giveaways galore. It is so exciting. The prizes have already started coming in. And I've really, really got to say a big thank you to all of my sponsors. So that will be coming up in the next week. I can't wait to show you what I've got here to give away. Let's get down to some fabrics. Now, I've bought most of these with visions and patterns in mind that I want to sew. Whether I end up doing that is another story because if you're like me and you do tend to change your mind a lot, which is what I do, and it is one of the beautiful things about sewing is you really there's no hard and fast rules. You can change your mind. Sometimes you can carry fabrics over into different seasons that you might have planned making them maybe for summer. You can carry them on to winter. But that is our prerogative is to be able to change our mind, I think. And I love the fact that we can create something new and different with a fabric. Maybe there's a few different things that a certain fabric can be made up with. So first of all, I have got a bit of background noise. My son is practicing his electric guitar. So if you hear a bit of that, hopefully you enjoy that as well. <laughs> Now, first of all, let's get through some fabrics. There are no particular order. These are some that I've picked up in the last couple of months. This is a gorgeous fabric from uh, Knitwit Fabrics over in WA. And I hadn't actually bought from them before, but I know a lot of people have loved buying from them. They've been a very popular fabric store here in Australia for a lot of many, many years. Um, this fabric is absolutely stunning. It is a gorgeous knit fabric, and it's almost like a heavier weight ITY. It's like a of a crepe I think they call it um it's not as heavy as a ponty it's quite light but it's got a lot of nice drape to it as well um yeah it's an in-between kind of weight if you know what I mean it has got a really nice stretch as well but look at the print on that really vivid reds and blues and you don't quite you don't often see that cobble blue and red together but I think it works really well it's really lovely. There is a particular style art dress I'll pop a pick up that I would love to see made out of this. That beautiful asymmetric hem, I just think, uh, would really set it off beautifully. But it reminds me, oh, is it like Versace? I think that kind of fabric, that print, they have a lot of paisley and a lot of florals in their prints. And I just think it really pops. And I just think it's bright. A lot of people have also said to hold the fabric up for longer so you can see the print. And hopefully it's coming up nice on the camera. But yeah, I am really excited to see that in a nice summery dress. Now, a lot of my Southern Hemisphere friends here, we're all going into that summer season for Christmas together. And I know you're really excited to see some sewing inspiration for some summer makes. That's definitely on the cards. I'm also going to incorporate a little bit of um, winter inspiration sewing for my Northern Hemisphere friends. So maybe some episodes on favourite coats that I've made in our winter. Favourite cardigans is another one I think you're excited to see as well. So I'm going to try and slot them in between so I can keep everyone happy. The next is a beautiful little parcel that was sent to me by Cloth Edit. 
Now Gabrielle has sent me some gorgeous fabric. I actually purchased some fabric from her with a patina blouse in mind. And then she put in a little gift as well. And I must say, I'm feeling thoroughly spoiled. She really is very, very kind and generous um, sending me some free fabric as well. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you the fabric that I bought for the patina. This is a linen silk. Now I'm wearing the linen silk print that has sold out from Cloth Edit, but she has many more brand new prints in, in that same fabric composition. That beautiful linen silk is just so gorgeous to wear. Now today we actually went out for my eldest daughter, Fee. It was her 25th birthday and we went out for Japanese for lunch. So I decided to get that dress on wear it and i've loved wearing it all day it's a very favorite make of mine and this is also another linen and silk blend same fabric as this in a brand new hydrangea print now you may notice that i'm a bit obsessed with hydrangeas because i have got some in my pots behind me that are just full bloom at the moment i've got a blue and a white and they love a lot of watering. If you're here in Australia, don't forget to water them if you have them in pots because they are very thirsty. They like a little bit of shade as well. Um, but also I have some purple and red ones planted around the other side there too. But I, as soon as I saw the hydrangea print, I'm like, I have to have this because I'm imagining it with the little pearlescent buttons as well. Now this fabric needs to go in the wash. I haven't even washed it yet, but it washes up beautifully. Now have a look at the print. Sorry about that tissue paper noise. It's always wrapped so beautifully. Her fabrics are wrapped the best out of anyone's that you'll ever find. They're just so much detail into the wrapping. Um, she always puts little gifts in there as well, like little tea bags and uh, samples of fabric as well. But isn't that gorgeous with the lovely black background? It's just divine. This is going to be a patina blouse. Very popular patterns come out in the last few weeks from Friday Pattern Company. Uh, I'm going to make a short sleeve one with that nice low collar. You can also make it in a long sleeve as well. But that fabric is going to come up stunning. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So, um, yeah, I just think the linen silk is definitely one that you want to try and purchase if you haven't bought any before. If you like a nice, natural, breathable fabric, love linen, but you want that softness of the silk, the linen and silk is definitely my favorite mix. But beautiful print, absolutely gorgeous. So colors in it are divine. So that was beautiful. She does have some of that still left on her website. This is that gorgeous lakeside. Uh, it does come in, uh, I think some, is it the yellowy color? The glory i can't think of the name of i'm terrible at remembering things at the moment um i think it's after having a big weekend we've had my son's 16th on friday my daughter's 25th today and the brain is a bit frazzled a bit tired we had some young men over last night some 16 year old friends of sam's uh, playing in a band so i think having a full-on weekend parties and birthday cakes it does tend to make you feel a bit tired but Hey, we're getting older. We're lucky to be here. Every day is a bonus, isn't it? So I just, oh, I'm trying to have, having trouble showing the whole scene. I'm gonna hold that up so you can see. Same thing, it's that linen silk blend. Absolutely stunning with that gorgeous rose print. And I know you all love the Wonderland print that I used for the uh, Tazuti Ruby dress, just to show off that panel. I actually am dreaming of this in a similar kind of, uh, straight dress there's a couple that i have in mind i really don't want to interrupt that print the ava pattern by pattern scouts definitely one i'm looking at it's on the radar as well wanting a nice straight maybe a maxi long skirt but isn't that just the most majestic color and i'm really trying to embrace the blues lately i think that it's something i haven't worn a lot over the years in the wardrobe and even yellow golds I don't have a lot of those colors, so I'm really excited to sew this up into a gorgeous dress. So that will be definitely one I'll be wanting to make in the near future. This is another beautiful gift that was sent to me from Steph and Carita at Fabric Deluxe here in Melbourne. I am very happy to say they are one of the people contributing a present to our vlogmas giveaways and when they sent me the goodies to be given away for that they also put in a beautiful length of ecotech amazing uh, gorgeous dark teal color linen that is going to definitely be some kind of christmas dress because how can you not make 
a Christmas dress with this teal color linen. I love wearing linen. I love how it softens up over time as well. But the sheen on this is amazing. It's a beautiful weight as well. Nice sort of mid-weight linen. Um, but definitely can see this in a Christmas frock of some kind. Um, can you see the color on that? I hope it's coming up all right. But it does have a really lovely sheen shine to it that I think you're going to love. And there's a lot of beautiful colors. But the quality in this linen is amazing and I can't wait to sew something up really nice with it um, so you can see exactly how it sews up but linen is one of my favorite fabrics to sew with but when you get such a beautiful cut of uh, quality linen you want to make sure that you're sewing something that you're very comfortable with that you know that it fits because you don't want to be making any errors with something of this beautiful quality so that's another one that's definitely going to be a dress for Christmas but we're going to move on to those plans in one of my next episodes because I really want to keep that separate to the fabric haul because as I say there's a lot of fabrics that I want to sew up uh, tentatively for that festive season as well. This is a uh, fabric purchase that I bought last week from Nerida Hansen because they did have a little sale on I think it was either free shipping or 20% off their linen range and this is absolutely beautiful it's a real vintage um, scene it does come with a more blue color purple I've gone for the more like um, mauvey violety purple in that print but it's a lightweight new lightweight fabric that has a lightweight cotton linen fabric and this I just think will make a beautiful blouse maybe even another Gilbert shirt from Helen's closet because I love wearing that with a little tie front it's giving me those kind of 60s vibe um, that print with the palms in it look at the colors of it it's just stunning and I will show you the drape it does have a lovely drape as well these all have to be washed of course linen cotton is always best to pre-wash and look at that it's going to be stunning to wear on a nice warm day light colors always make you feel a bit more cool in the hot weather as well I think so it would be a really really pretty dress or maybe even a puff sleeve kind of dress or puff sleeves top um, yeah there's so much you could really do with that lightweight cotton linen but I love the print in it I'll show you up close again colors are really really pretty really blending into my garden here the green background but yes Nerida Hansen has some beautiful uh, fabrics on her website she also has a couple of new um, fabric types as well and you need to go and have a look what she has always always using some new artists work in her fabrics too but love that couldn't leave that couldn't resist had to snap some of that up this next fabric was one that the lovely Cherie from Fabric Hunter actually pointed out on her website and she said to me hey I've got some new fabrics I'd love to hear your feedback what you think and I had a look and I thought I shouldn't have looked because the new Italia Jupe range she has on there is just stunning she does have a lot of really exquisite fabrics some uh, Lady McElroy as well but this fabric I am just so drawn to this color this mauve or would you say it's lilacs lilacs and mauves bit of purple this is a hibiscus print this is a beautiful viscose from Italia Jupe's brand new range but look at that stunning colorway this is definitely I can see a dress either a wrap dress or a dress with a, like a lower front maybe a flutter sleeve would look really pretty with this too um not quite sure but I'm, I can just envision a wrap dress with a flutter sleeve so I know I do have a great Vogue pattern that would do it justice as well uh, as well as maybe the Rose Claire dress from Cashmere patterns it could be really pretty I went on to purchase the Upton pack from Cashmere they had that um, big pack that you can buy all the different add-ons you know numerous sleeves and necklines and different cuts and different seam work to the front it was on sale about a month ago and I bought that because I think it'd be a great it'd be a fantastic pattern to have to do a lot of hacking with and cashmere patterns are fantastic so it could even be an Upton dress that could be another thing to consider but not really sure but I love that uh, I want to really make sure it's definitely a pattern that I've tried and tested as well but uh, look how summery and vibrant that fabric looks it's really really pretty it's got such a beautiful drape it's got a nice dark background with that pinky color hibiscus but really pretty I hope it's showing up really nice on the camera there so you can see exactly 
how gorgeous that is but i know she just does still have some of that on her online store as well as a couple of other atelia jupe fabrics as well so that was from fabric hunt i've really got to think about seeing fabrics haven't i lately i know i made a dress many years ago that had a scene on the front of it and i just fell in love with it, it was just a spotlight scuba fabric um, but I made one for a friend of mine because she loved it so much and every time she wears it out people just stop her and ask her where she where she purchased it and they wouldn't believe that it was from Spotlight it's just so intricate looking but I think a lady did say to her it really tells a story and I'm all about fabrics if they tell a story they make it so much more interesting uh, and I think a lot of these designer ends from pit trading uh, if you can pick one of them up on the Friday night sale, you would really be lucky because they are so hard to get now. Pit trading uh, every six, every Friday night at 6 p.m. They do have the designer ends sale on and you need to be quick because you'll have something in your car and within minutes it'll disappear. So sales normally start at 6 p.m. on their website, but you do have to be quick and snap it up when you see something you love. But I saw this, it was a uh, start of November. It's a knit fabric, really pretty. And it's got this gorgeous scene on the front of it. And it's not a color I'd normally wear. It's got grays, it's got um, silver sort of tones to it. But what I loved about it was the scene work on it. Have a look at that. The florals and the scenes. Um, you can see there's trees, there's beautiful lilies, the pond with lilies. Uh, I just think it's absolutely stunning fabric. Um, but I can really see some kind of maxi dress in that. I think it'll be beautiful and comfortable to wear. But really, like that lady said, really tell a story when you when you see it on. So it's quite hard to show you on camera exactly the amount of work in that. I always wonder who had designed that fabric. What an amazing colour contrast that is. All those colours together working really well. But lovely drape to it as well. And it has got a... It's not too slippery, not like an ITY, it's a bit more of a, a little bit thicker knit than that, but definitely not a hot knit. Um, it's definitely one for the summer season, but nice stretch. Might have to wear a little slip underneath it. I'm not too sure. I think it's a little bit on the, not too see-through, but being a little bit lighter, I think a slip would be um, definitely one to think about. But that colour again, you can really see a theme with the fabrics I'm choosing. They're all those mauve and lilac colorways aren't they now my design is also another sponsor from our lovely uh 12 days of vlogmas mikey from my design actually released this range of lady mcelroy lawns that was stunning and this one in particular it sold out within an, like a couple of hours it was gone but i know over the weekend she has actually re-released some more of this fabric so you can still get your hands on it uh luckily it is absolutely beautiful it has a scene on the front with some gorgeous little people swimming, little ponds. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Some little bathing beauties there in it. Look at the little uh, the water scene and all that lush, those beautiful palms and ferns, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Now that was another one I was thinking about for the patina. It's definitely going to be a little blouse. Uh, not quite sure what I want to do with that one. You know, I have got a couple of meters, maybe a meter and a half definitely a little top of some kind i think will look lovely with some jeans or maybe some navy pants but you can still get that fabric it's got a lovely sheen beautiful feel to it it's really lovely to sew with and really nice to wear as well but beautiful colors i can really imagine a little red button just to pop out on that too would work quite well i think now there is a dress in my stash that I haven't made yet, like many are, <laughs> the Helena wrap dress from Just Patterns. I actually purchased this fabric from Darn Cheap Fabrics. It's a tensile linen blend. Now it's really, really lovely weight. It's got quite a nice weight to it. It's got so much gorgeous drape. I think it'll work really well in a wrap dress. Um, lovely sheen to it as well. They do have quite a few colours on there and I think it would work beautiful in a pair of pants or even a jumpsuit, um, dresses of all kinds, even a lightweight dusted jacket would work really nice in that fabric too. So the colour is uh, a beautiful rusty orange colour and I just think a statement dress in that colour will be gorgeous for all year round because it's a great colour to wear through winter and autumn and summer here. Yeah, really pretty fabric so I've got three meters of that so definitely a wrap dress on the cards. Back to knitwit fabrics I've got some scuba crepe 
that was another one I was thinking about definitely making that asymmetric hem which I've forgotten the name the style like dress that I really want to make a bold cobalt blue I think it would be lovely uh, you can play up some nice jewelry some nice bright jewelry and maybe a nice bright beaded necklace as well but I really need to embrace some more solids I have got a real affinity for wearing prints and buying prints but it's so nice to have a basic uh, basic bold color that's got a really nice stretch to it um, the scuba crepe is just lovely just a lovely weight and a lovely kind of crepey feel to it uh, but a really nice weight compared to some of the really soft slinky crepe knits it's a little bit more dense but it'll be beautiful fabric for all year round definitely the last fabric I have here was from Super Cheap Fabrics and I have bought from them in the past as well. I just thought this would make a beautiful pair of wide leg pants for summer. I think with a little basic black top I can really see that. It would also make a stunning uh, songbird, like a um, robe style jacket as well. Uh, they are great to wear through the summer season too. So that print, that really lovely cream and black kind of a leaf print and really good value fabrics really reasonable I think that one was under was it probably under ten dollars a meter so yeah great bargain super cheap have some really good bargains there as well nice and floaty the rayon is great to wear for pants and slacks in a hot summertime so that is my fabric haul from all my favorite indie fabric stores I hope you have enjoyed that I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration don't forget my plans episode coming up for Christmas what I want to be sewing um, and also I have that spotlight little fabric haul that I went a bit crazy on one of their clearance tables as well and some patterns that is coming up for you to see next so I hope you can join me for that thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode and you love seeing fabric hauls a thumbs up would be highly appreciated and I will be joining you very shortly for my next episode so keep safe and keep sewing bye for now